What's up, everybody? What up, everyone? Welcome to season one of Chef Table Eats, episode one. We're here at the legendary Oh My Burger in Gardena, California. Let's get it in. Brandon's impact on the first episode of Chef Table Podcast is huge. He was our first guest. Uh, we didn't know what to expect from the podcast. We didn't know it would take off, how it did, the views it would get. So shout out to Brandon. So we're paying respect and homage by making him, again, the first episode of Chef Table Eats. So we're in the kitchen right now, and uh, they're whipping up some good stuff right now. So we're excited to try what food at Oh My Burger. Hey, man, the first episode, Chris couldn't stop talking about the peach collar shake. Couldn't. Hey. And we're gonna get it. You're finally getting it today. Let's go. You're getting your peach busted. <laughs> Pause. Pause. <laughs> So they hooked us up with the blueberry lemonade. Everybody know John's on this health kick. He asked him for water and I said, nah, we doing blueberry <laughs> lemonade. Cheers to that, John. Cheers. All right. So uh, we're going to jump into this Oh My Burger goodness. Let's start off with this pandemic box right here again because, you know, I like to highlight the show and this was one of the big topics. So the little homie, the hot honey wings and the Alfredo fries. Let's I'm dig digging in. in right now. Let me see. Let me see. Wow. I haven't, I haven't been, but by his reaction, it was fire. Oh my gosh. Perfect Alfredo sauce. I will say this. Mm. That is not canned Alfredo sauce. Mm. That is homemade, in-house Alfredo sauce. It's creamy. It's rich. It's seasoned perfect. Definitely not from a jar or a can, 100%. Mm -hmm. This is in-house. Wow. Brandon? Great. the Lord's work, man. Great. Again, shout Greatness. out to Brandon and Oh My Burger. This is amazing. And we haven't even hit the wings yet. We haven't even hit the wings. All right, we're about to dig into these wings. What were they called again? The Honey Hot Wings. Honey Hot Wings. Again, this is the pandemic box. Look at the sauce, man. Look at how it just shines, just perfectly coated. Not wow. Like, whole chicken is coated, man. I love it. How is it? Saucy. Nice and saucy. And it's got a kick to it. It's got a nice kick. Definitely taste the honey. Chris. I got one thing to say about this wing. Can I get some sauce to go? <laughs> mm. <laughs> the sauce is just... I'm a sauce dude, you know? I love making sauces and this sauce has a lot of love. Rich, sweet, spicy, salty. Wow. There's acid in there from the from the hot sauce. If you are having a party for Super Bowl, come buy this sauce because you're gonna need it. And it's not too hot. I'm not really that big on spice. This is the perfect balance of spice and sweet and saltiness and acid. It's just a flawless. <clears throat> Just a flawless mm. wing, and I, man, I'm really happy right now, Brandon. So we're excited about this. We got pastrami chili cheese tacos. Now, if you guys don't know, Brandon is also the king of burgers, but he's the king of chili as well. Wow. He won a chili cook-off competition some years back. His chili speaks volumes. He put it in a taco with pastrami. Let's check it out. So as I take a bite into this pastrami taco, I ain't never had a pastrami taco ever in my life. But I gotta tell you one thing. It is perfectly cooked. The pastrami is not dry. It's got a nice sauce in it. And man, what was that on top? Chorizo? 
Chili. Chili. Chili on top of the pastrami on a taco. Amazing. First impression. I'm back in my childhood. I'm in Gardena. My mom coming home. The fried shell, man. I grew up with this. This is how we ate tacos growing up. So immediately, I'm in my childhood, so I'm happy. Anytime you can hit childhood when someone's eating, you've done your job as a chef. You've done your due diligence. This taco is fantastic. Balance with flavors with the pastrami. The pastrami has a nice saltiness to it. Chili has a nice spice to it. A lot of flavors in this taco. For me personally, though, what saves this taco and makes this taco amazing is the fried shell. I'm glad he went with that. It's brilliant. 10 out of 10. Had to wash all that goodness down with the blueberry lemonade. Their blueberry lemonade is fantastic. Um, I hope they don't charge for refills because I'm going to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> that blueberry lemonade is really fire and you know like when i get lemonade at places it's sometimes it's a little too tart or sometimes a little too sweet but this blueberry lemonade is perfect now let's get into these wings i'm a wing person so i'm excited every time we dump into the wings and i gotta say again the honey hot wings are fire so let's see what these lemon pepper nashville wings are talking about let's get into it Cheers. Cheers. You know what I noticed by holding this wing already? This wing's gonna be good. It's really crispy, not too saucy like the other one. Mm. So I'm looking forward to it. Mmm. Mmm. You know, the sauce is not as super saucy as the last one we ate right now. But this one definitely has its own flavor. It definitely tastes like a nice Nashville hot wing. You know what this wing reminds me of? That four foot 11 dude in high school that weighed 95 pounds that knocked out the 6'3", 300 pound guy. This wing isn't saucy. It isn't heavy looking, but it packs a lot of punch with flavor. And surprisingly, this is my favorite wing today. Yeah. This wing Most has definitely. a lot of flavor. The lemon pepper on there is fire. The Nashville coating, the crispiness. Brandon, shout out to you, man. This is amazing. I'm eating it all the way down to the bone. Pause. <laughs> We had some amazing wings. We had some in-house Alfredo fries that were amazing. We had some chili pastrami tacos, but now we're to the good stuff. The staple burgers of Oh My Burger. We got the little homie, the real damn cheeseburger. As you can see why they call it that with the cheese melted on top of the bun and the honey garlic chicken sandwich. John, let's dive into this. You ready? Okay. All right, man, let's dive into this, man. I'm ready. Dude, this thing is huge. It's heavy, too. Man. Yeah, I feel like, you know what? Let's skip the pause and let's just get into it. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I agree. Cheers. I'm left speechless. Just when I thought he couldn't amaze me with a chicken sandwich at a burger place, he did it. Crispy, juicy, tender. I don't like dry, crispy chicken. This chicken is perfectly fried. The coating, the sauce, the aioli that's on there. This is just a perfect sandwich. Sorry guys, I got I got you, I'm sorry. 10 out of 10. So I took my first bite. I'm about to dig into the second one. But that sauce on a chicken sandwich with the perfectly breaded amount is amazing. You know, I've tried a lot of chicken sandwiches. Chick-fil-A is one of my favorites. But uh, this one definitely got a good taste to it. Chick-fil-A. 
You can close on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I already closed Sundays. I'm coming here. Great job, Brandon. Seriously. Chicken is so crispy and juicy at the same time, man. Excellent sandwich, man. I'm in love with this. Bear with us, guys. Uh, I already got the itis, you know. Me and John have been here eating everything. John, you good? I'm good. He's hanging in there. All I'm right, good. all right. So now we got the real damn cheeseburger. The reason why they call it the real damn cheeseburger, I mean, it's self-explanatory. If you look at it, cheese on the burger, cheese on top of the bun, and there's some real damn cheese on there. So you ready to dig in? I'm ready. All right. This thing is beautiful, you know? You know what? I thought this burger was gonna be a lot heavier with the cheese on top, but um, it's light. But I bet you it's heavy in flavor. So, cheers. Let's try it out. Real damn cheeseburger. Shout out to Brandon. Go ahead. upside down and that cheese on top was the first thing to hit my palate. I really love cheese and I love cheese on a burger. All this extra cheese makes me cheese for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this burger reminds me of that girl when I was in seventh grade at Perry Middle School who wouldn't go out with me because she said I was too cheesy. Well, look at me now. <laughs> look at all this cheese, man. I mean, it, it's just beautiful. The cheese on top, the cheese on the burger. Yep. Brandon, man, uh, I mean, you didn't disappoint me. Not one thing have I had was bad. And uh, th this is one of my favorites. And it's just very creative, the cheese on top. The bun is still so soft. You managed to keep the bun soft. The, the fixings inside, the sauce, everything is just fantastic, man. This is real damn good. That's real damn good. Is. <clears throat> mm. This is what I've been waiting for. I got a sweet tooth. I've been waiting for the desserts. Now, I know about the desserts, but we putting John on today. I told John earlier he's going to get his peach busted today. Pause. Um, we got the peach cobbler shake. My favorite, I think it's the best shake on the planet. Um, I can't tell you how many times I snuck away from the house, drove down here pretending to go to the gym and getting a peach cobbler shake. I'm excited about this one. We got my second favorite, the red velvet shake. Nice big chunk of red velvet cake in there. And we got a new a dessert I actually never tried before and I'm excited about this one. It's the deep fried slice of red velvet cake with some whipped cream on top. You gonna be all right, John? You know what? I'm gonna have to be all right because I got a I got a long day ahead of me. Okay, good. All right. Well, you know, just work it off at the gym tonight. You know, tell everybody, hit John up, man. Go in the comments on his on his IG and say, put the gym emoji or something. Let's motivate him, yeah. man, because we, we want him to get through this. He's falling asleep right now. He has the itis. We gonna keep him awake. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Let's dig in. Let's Cheers. Dig in. Cheers. there was gonna be like any sauce in it but apparently there's something on the bottom and it's really it's really spiking me up right now uh, as I dug my spoon into that 
nice and soft. You know, I, for a second I thought it was gonna be kind of crispy, but the batter is perfect. And the cake is amazing. Man. Anytime you're deep frying anything, you have to really capture that moisture. Uh, a lot of the times, if it's not battered properly, uh, the cake will lose moisture and be too dense. That's why it's really tricky when you're frying cake. That's why a lot of people aren't brave enough to fry a slice of cake. You know, it's easy to fry, you know, freeze a slice of cheesecake and fry it. You don't really lose that with cheesecake, but a cake like red velvet cake, which relies on nothing but pure creaminess and moisture, and the fact that they were able to batter it and fry it and it hold its shape, hold its moisture, didn't dry out, flawless execution. The, the cooks and the chefs at Oh My Burger Man, truly talented. As a chef, I can see that they have a lot of skill. They're not just back there just throwing things around. They're very talented, they're very knowledgeable, and this is a very, very flawless dessert. Again, a deep fried red velvet cake. It's not something you'll see. A lot of chefs don't wanna take that risk in doing it. You can see right here how moist that cake is. I mean, it is, it is just fantastic. And uh, shout out to the staff here at Oh My Burger. I am very impressed with everything. All right, now, shake time. I'm excited for this because John has not had this yet. And how many episodes in a row did I talk about this? Almost like all of them, all 10. Yeah, okay. Uh, shout out to everybody that came on after Brandon. Um, you know, I took the spotlight. I, I felt like Brandon's name and his legacy was in every episode because I found a way to talk about this, but now we're here. Yeah. John is trying the peach cobbler shake for the first time. I've had the shake a hundred times, so I'm going to let him try it out and tell you what he thinks. I got the red velvet shake. Okay. I can tell you right now, they throw a big chunk of red velvet cake and blend it in here. I mean, you can tell, you can just see the chunks of cake in there. If you really look at it. Okay. That's not something out of a jar. That's not something out of a bottle. That's red velvet cake blended up in there. So we're excited to try this. All right. Cheers. Sounds good. Cheers. Wow. It literally tastes like I just took a bite out of a piece of pie. <laughs> but you know when you when you have a piece of pie, and you warm it up, and you throw that ice cream on top. Yep. Oh man, that's exactly what it tastes like. Do you see why I, I, I'm obsessed with it? Why I talk wow. about it so much? You see it now? Wow. Okay. I can't get enough. This is good. Huh? We're, we're gonna need one to go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say this about Oh My Burger. The reason I'm a fan of their shakes, they manage to highlight whatever it is. The peach cobbler shake, it tastes like you're eating peach cobbler. This tastes like I'm eating a piece of cake. And it's so crazy that they blend it with ice cream. It's not watered down, it's not too thick, it's perfect. I hate shakes that are too thick that when you suck on it, pause, pause. you can't get it to come up. <laughs> that sounded crazy, all right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying. <laughs> this shake is easy to drink. It's delicious. I could taste the chunks of cake. I mean, oh my burger, man. You guys need to oh my desserts. Right. Oh my shakes or something. Um, this is fire. You guys' desserts are, are just top of the line. And like I said, you know, I have a sweet tooth, so I've eaten a lot of dessert places. I love oh my burger shakes. So, Brandon, you need to oh my shake. Let's go. Overall, what did you think of Oh My Burger? The best burger place I've ever tried in my life. I can put it down like that. You know, so many people come on. Uh, I know Dominique from Smoking Pot, Baby Bounce just came on. Whenever we mention Oh My Burger, they always talk about how they were here all the time, destroying the burgers, making right. their own burgers. Now we see why. Are you a fan? I'm definitely a fan, and I'm a friend. Yeah, I'm a friend too. 
I think after coming on today, I think we got to bring Brandon back on for season two. Right. You know, I think that's the goal for us. When we do these episodes of Chef Table Eats, we have a good experience. The next thing is bringing them on the show. We've already had Brandon on. Let's bring him back because we got a lot more to talk about now that we do a lot more. Man. Yeah, yeah. So Brandon, man, if you're up to it, we would love to have you back on. The food was great. We got a lot more to talk about and uh, everything was great. 10 out of 10 experience. 10 out of 10. Thank you to Five the staff. Star. 10 star. However many stars you got, I want them all. Shout out to Lonzo and Carlos, man. Lonzo took great care of us today, man. He really brought really, it through. He really did. That dude's seasoning, man, dangerous. He, he knows what he's doing back there. And again, shout out to Chef Brandon of Oh My Burger. Top of the line restaurant, a Gardena staple, a legendary restaurant in the game. And we are just very, very thankful for you having us here to enjoy the food. And we look forward to seeing you guys again. Till next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the Chef Table podcast on YouTube. Follow Chef Table Eats. And we got more content coming out this year for you guys. Take care. Stay tuned. Yep.